Hello and welcome to The Gaggle, where we challenge and, if necessary, destroy media narratives. I'm George Samuel Levy. With me today, of course, is co-founder of The Gaggle, Peter Lavelle, host also of RT's talk show, Cross Talk. Well, Peter, today is July the 6th, and it's exactly six months since the most horrific uh, terrorist attack that has ever happened in U United States history took place. Never before has uh, American politicians the American seat of power, the temple of democracy, uh, been subjected to such a, a horrific, uh, nefarious, malevolent attack. Um, now, when we look back upon this with uh, the, the, the six months, we see that just about every single thing that was asserted by the ideologues of the January the 6th insurrection has been wrong. Um, we know that there was no insurrection, there was no armed intervention into the uh, halls of Congress. Uh, you know, basically for four hours, there were the regular proceedings of Congress um, were delayed. Um, no violence was uh, used uh, against any uh, member of Congress. Um, but there are, the, and the various stories that were, were put out, um, some of which I think are a little more sinister, as in the case of the uh, Capitol Police officer, Brian Sicknick, that Pelosi, Biden, and everyone else uh, asserted had been bludgeoned to death with a fire extinguisher. We know that didn't happen. And, but nonetheless, he, he, you know, we had a lying in state for Brian Sicknick, and then there was a giant procession. He was uh, buried in Arlington, uh, National uh, Cemetery, and then we learned it turned out that he died because he had a stroke. He had two blood clots uh, on his neck. Um, but nonetheless, this was a this was a story that was put out, um, and the, the the key pieces of information we still do not know. We don't know who and why uh, uh, who killed Ashley Babbitt. Why um, we don't why know. Cover up? Yeah, we don't know why um, the whole the Congress was actually opened to the public. We've seen the YouTube footage of uh, people being shepherded in. We don't know why uh, at about 1 p.m. suddenly the police used such massive force against people who are, are protesting uh, peacefully. Uh, we don't know why 14,000 I think hours of uh, TV footage has been kept hidden. No one, no one can see it. Um, but Pelosi, Biden, and the Democrats are going to continue milking this for as long as possible. They've, they've now set up a, a select committee, which will be entirely run by Democrats and uh, Liz Cheney. And then we've got the 500 plus trials that will occupy uh, the DC courts uh, for the next year or so. So this now in the retrospect after six months seems like as big a hoax as Russiagate. <laughs> Peter, what's your thought? And, and it's one more um, a point. Um, the, the, some of the footage, the very little footage that we've seen, there's an element of fraternization going on here. I mean, these police officers didn't look particularly scared. Nope. In fact, they were kind of chit-chatting and they're saying, you know, be a little quiet, go down that right. way. I mean, that's, that's you know, right. being hosts in a way, right. okay? So that needs to be explained as well. Uh, of course, with your dramatic opening there, you forgot one element. Um, encouraged by a sitting president of the United that's right, States. Yes, that's exactly. That. And, because, and I, it's exactly a very good point that Trump was impeached after he had already left office. They managed to get an impeachment in right away uh, because he supposedly encouraged uh, the, uh, the insurrectionists when, of course, he did nothing of the sort. Uh, but nonetheless, that's another part of the, uh, the huge lie. Yeah, and Hillary wants to have tr uh, Trump's uh, phone logs uh, in investigated. Yes, yes. He must have called Putin, of course. Yes, that's right. Putin, yes. Donald, go ahead, insurrect away, please. <laughs> well, you're absolutely right. And this is just a political game now. Um, they're, 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 on the part of the authorities, I, I don't see one inkling of effort to, to find justice, uh, not at all, okay? Um, this is six months, uh, what, what, uh, you need more than six months to resolve this? I mean, uh, I mean, what, what are all, you know, it, give us the range of charges, okay? Um, loitering, six months, he's still investigating loitering, right. okay? Right. 
um, uh, uh, trespassing, six months you need to investigate trespassing. Right. Right. Um, and, and then, um, uh, you know, these unnamed co-conspirators, yeah. uh, unindicted. Yeah. Well, who, 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 what do you mean? <laughs> who are these people? Exactly. And, and, and what is the involvement of social media? I mean, um, they, uh, they took down Parler. Why didn't they take down Facebook and Twitter? I mean, they weren't using these platforms to, to communicate. It, it's maybe something completely um, non-nefarious, okay? Hey, I'm gonna be there, you know, at two, see you there, okay? Um, no, well, I, I think it's for me at this point, <clears throat> six months in, the economy is really screwy. It's very hard to understand what trends are going on here. Job, job growth isn't what they had hoped and expected. We have a spike in inflation, which you can't deny everyone. It's just simply there in your face, okay? Um, there um, are uh, the issues with the vaccinations, um, taking a little bit of the veneer that, you know, um, uh, what was it? Uh, Biden was gonna give you a check in your pocket and he was gonna get you a vaccine, okay? Um, that is a is a, is a, um, a, a very uh, muddied and and and, and unclear. It's, it, there's no clarity how effective that is. Um, one issue that is dead set against him: the majority are, uh, polled are against his immigration policies. So I mean, at at very best, I'm going to be generous here. It's pretty lukewarm. Okay, I'm being generous here. Lukewarm. And I think and, and I think one other issue, which and I think that's why. Uh, the Democrats have a vested interest in keeping the whole January uh, 6th uh, uh, horror show going. The lore. Yeah. That there is, there are real questions about the November the 3rd election. I mean, if you look at the polls, uh, you know, even a large percentage of the Democrats don't, don't believe that that election was on the level. So there is clearly, you know, it goes together with uh, continually whipping up uh, the theory about the horror of what happened on January the 6th with uh, attacks on uh, the people who are calling that election into question, much as uh, the Russiagate hoax served to uh, call into question uh, Donald Trump's achievement in 2016 and to conceal the other secondary aspect, to conceal the Obama administration's nefarious activities in trying to sabotage uh, Trump's uh, election. So, so it served to uh, to conceal all of that. So that so that again, you know, you can see oh, they, this is another reason why uh, Pelosi and the rest of them want to keep uh, the the January sixth story alive for as long as possible. I think they want to keep it alive. I I, I think that I see a different causality, slightly different. Um, I, I think that they um, they were going to say um, people didn't accept the outcome of the election, and that's why there was an insurrection. But what they want to do is they want to take the, the focus away what the cause the causal reasons for it. I think because they're they're, they're not comfortable with that. Okay, I mean if you're going to have a, a investigation into January sixth, then why can't we investigate the election? I mean that right. fair? That's right. That'd be fair, right? That but, that, be but, fair. That, but that's the thing. I mean it's like you know you, you, the problem with November the third is that. It, the election just never really made any sense. I mean, there were just too many uh, weird aspects of it. There were just so many that uh, the, the, the story, this election was clean as a whistle, shut up already and don't think talk about it. It's, 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 it's something, it's just not a sustainable position. But, that, but that's why, and you, and you and I did it in real time. I remember it very, very clearly. We talked about the events of January um, 6th, like, I guess because of the hour change, it was our 7th, okay? And, um, you know, it, we were trying to understand what was going on. Was there infiltration? What was the role of the state and all of that? And then in the next news cycle, we did another video. Oh, it's white supremacy. That's what it was. See, that's my point. See, they, they, they're not comfortable with January 6th, okay? So what they need to do is insurrection, armed insurrection, white supremacists. And that, that, that creates a very thick line in their mind but, like, oh, no, 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 that's in the past. That's okay, yeah, but that, that, that the people is. that are involved in it see a causality, a connection between, and they want to break that. Right, I right, think. right, right. No, I, I, I think that's right. But I think that's, but the more you kind of bring that up, bring, you know, it, it goes together. The two lines: this is the most horrific attack on democracy in American history, and the big lie, the big lie. Trump is lying. He's a lying liar. All the people who, who are talking about November the third are lying. There's no, you know, no basis whatsoever. It's all, you know, any you pick up any media, it's always the same. No, it's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. Shut up. 
um, you know, it, I mean, the two go together. You know, you yes, can... but 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 don't you see the the value? I can't believe I said that word. Um, um, the the intentionality of turning it into domestic terrorists, into yeah. white supremacists, Absolutely. because what it does, it it, it 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 creates a completely different narrative. Okay, because I do think that they would, of course, it's the big lie and all that, but I think they would like to keep that in the rear view mirror. Okay, because they, they, because um, it, it it's so much easier. Their messages, their messaging is so much easier for MSNBC, CNN, New York Times, Washington Post. Right. That this is the the enemies within. Right. Okay. No, I think that's right. And we've right. got them. We, unlike all of the conspiracy theories on right. November, we have the video. Okay. Right. See, no, that's I, 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 right. But that, but they do want to, you know, emphasize that somehow, you know, this was some great victory. Biden won some uh, great victory, and and this is part of the whole uh, uh, pretense that well, you know, Biden Biden is a mandate. He has to uh, enact all these this agenda, you know, whether, you know, he's got a- he's FDR! <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And you think, well, you don't have a mandate. I mean, you you know, you lost seats in the House. You you very nearly lost control of the House. Uh, the Senate, you were expected to take the Senate comfortably. Uh, it was basically the 50-50 tie. Um, so the, all this is just fantasy. You know, we'll have a $10 trillion infrastructure project. Uh, we'll get rid of the uh, filibuster. We'll have immigration reform. All this, all of this kind of wonderful things, and all we haven't done. You don't have the votes for it, so you know, it's, it's, it's part of it. You, you still have to kind of keep this uh, this fantasy alive that uh, that somehow Biden won some famous victory um, in November third. But you know, it, I mean, it was a remarkable achievement after 2016 of how. What was an extraordinary victory? I mean, Trump's victory was a truly extraordinary thing. Um, and that's boom, that story just vanished. And we're on to arguing about something absolutely idiotic Russia. <laughs> and so, you know, instead of people really analyzing, this is, you know, a reality TV sh a star has come along, swept aside all the opposition, and he's won this uh, election. Uh, you know, maybe there's something we need to learn about what's going on in America. No. No, let's just change the subject and let's just talk about Russia. And that's it. And we spent three years with, with this absolute nonsense. Absolutely. Every single part of it was a completely made up about Russia. <laughs> so it's a, you know, that's the whole point. You know, you keep these stories alive in order that we don't talk about something much more important. Like what you want to do is you want to crowd out all, all other stories. And that's why the, you know, within one news cycle, it went from... Um, um, uh, disruption, riot, and all that, and then to armed insurrection by white supremacists. And right. that's what they're going to push here. And obviously, because of all the reasons that I just listed, um, the, the, the Biden administration is, again, I'll be generous, wobbly, it, 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 to be generous, okay? And now that um, the, the midterms are coming up, and look at the timeline, George. I mean, the campaigning is going to start in the fall. That's when the trials are going to start. Right. No, that's right. And it's a and they got some cherry pick stories. You right. just watch. They got right. some they think they, you know, just like in Russia game, they think they've got the walls are caving in. Right. They're gonna right. do the same thing. Right. No, that's right. And it's kind of an interesting thing because you've got um Biden. I mean, all these things that they have, let's say Biden is at 52% approval, 52, 53. Well, first of all, all the polls are, are dubious, they've been wrong, they're always wrong. So let's subtract six or seven points from that. So it's probably around 46, 47 that is approval rating. But even that exaggerates uh, the, um, the strength of the, uh, the administration because people kind of, you know, they feel a little affectionate, a little protective of the old codger. He's very, he's, you know, he's doing very well putting forward this, you know, doddery old man, give me my ice cream, you know, like, you know, like, like, like the toothless old man, you know, give, give him his ice cream. And I think he's enjoying a little bit of that. Um, but, you know, what are the Democrats now? Either he's putting all this on, which possible, or if he's not putting on, then they've got um, Harris in the wings. And all the Democrats know that there's no chance whatsoever that Harris can win an election. I mean, she's an absolutely reviled person. There's just no way. I mean, you know, if Hillary Clinton can't win a national election, Kamala Harris sure as hell can't. So they're, so they're in a bit of a bind. Because if Biden can't complete his term uh, and can't uh, run in 2024, 
then what do they do? They can't have Harris there. So they may have to start thinking about bringing well, if they, if they, yeah, instead of if, Harris. If it gets to that point, they'll get a dropper from the ticket. Okay, I, I just- I, 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 I think so. They'd ha they're gonna have to think of some other, somebody else who can just step in uh, uh, for Harris. Um, well, the, the, this may explain some of the, the negative stories that we're hearing about Harris. Um, well, I, that, I that point- like, John Kerry, you know, he can just step in at the last minute, you know, he's, you know, he's an old hand and, and so on, but they, they can't go into an election with Harris at the top of the ticket. Well, and, and, and you know, that political story that we talked about last week, I mean, obviously somebody in the White House is sniping at her, okay, and I think making it very clear that she isn't the, the um, obvious um, anointed one. I think they, that, that's one of the messages they're sending. Right. I mean, other than she's just utterly incompetent. Right. But you know, the, going into the election cycle, I, I thought a lot about this, is that Joe is not unlikable, okay? That, that's, that's what they're playing on. I mean, he, yeah. is he likable? Maybe, yes, maybe, no. You, can, you know, it's, in, it's what you want to see. But is he unlikable? No, I think that's a definitive, you know, say, no, he, he's just not unlikable, okay? Right. I, I don't see any magnetism. I don't see any no. kind of charisma um, at all. And, and, and as long as he's not Donald Trump, and that's why if you look at CNN, you look at MSNBC, the only way they get their meager ratings, the, the even the, to coalesce, is to have Trump stories, Trump stories. That's all they can run on. And that's what they think that, that, that may um, uh, push them across the line. Now, I, I, the, I think 2022, it, 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 this is just completely wide open right now. And it's, of course, the, the, re, the remarkable agility of the Republican Party, they can easily lose it. <laughs> okay? No, they no, I think they lose that, it. That, that's, uh, that's, that's definitely the case. Um, I, I think clearly the, the, uh, the Democrat strategy is just to milk January the 6th, white supremacy, domestic terrorism, uh, horrible, horrible Donald Trump waiting in the wings, and just to keep doing this and, you know, riding out to 2022. I mean, you know, what, how did they respond? As we just we talked about a moment ago, how did they respond to the debacle of 2016? They had Russiagate. And they milk Russia get all the way through to the midterms, um, and you know because the Republicans ran a mediocre race, the midterm race under Paul Ryan, you know it, it worked for them. And I think this is the Pelosi strategy. You know, just keep keep banging on about this, and who knows? You know, we may you know you know may it may be a surprise. We may be able to hold on to the house. Yeah, you know, and and you know, and enlisting Liz Cheney. I mean, brilliant move on on Pelosi's part, but really. Uh, it really does, okay, because it keeps the Republicans all scrambled up and tied up into a pretzel, okay? I mean, you know, I, I think she's the worst speaker in our lifetime, but she's, she's uh, at being devious, she, she plays that, that role very, very well. But uh, the, what I, I, we have to be really worried that January 6th will be a paralyzing issue, and I think that that's what they want, okay? Um, they, they, uh, what it does is it, ke it keeps um, uh, uh, Trump supporters defensive in many ways. Yeah, gonna no, see, I, you know, it's going to see how the. I mean, the, 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 it'll be interesting how the, the media covers it because we, we already had that one case of that grandmother that was helping uh, an, a, a, an even older woman herself that, you know, when she went through her ordeal and it was a, a trespassing, I think, was it? No, no, what was it? A parading, which I never knew was illegal. And then she had to do the whole... Um, um, Re-education re thing. You know, given a book, a book list, you know, like <laughs> your reading list, like a... A child has been given a, a homework assignment. These are the books you need to read by next uh, Monday. Or, the, or Paul Potts, the Red Guard. Right, right, right. No, that's right. But it's a kind of an interesting because, of course, the Republicans haven't, uh, they've been very intimidated and they haven't done what they should have done, which is they should have defended um, basically, you know, the, the, you know or, uh, at least uh, uh, um, investigated the uh, abuse of the judicial process that's been going on in DC for the, for the January the 6th defendants. Why are people being held without bail? I mean, these, these are not serious crimes. They you know, haven't done it. Why are people uh, being held in solitary confinement? That's regarded as torture. What about all these stories that some of them have been uh, subjected to physical abuse? I mean, why aren't Republicans talking about this every day? Where's the where's the le the the um, nationwide legal team? Where is it? Who are they? You know, right. step up, okay? And I mean, oh, look! Remember last summer? 
you know, all the rioters and all, you know, all, all these people, they were just, you know, uh, there was bail funds and they, you know, mobilized themselves. Well, where's the, where's the Republican party? You know, where, where, where is there? Uh, yeah, exactly. Because they, they have money. And they have money. These are they have people. money. These are poor people who can't afford anything other than public defenders. And the public defenders in D.C., they're as liberal as the uh, <laughs> as the judges and the prosecutors. So they're not really defending them at all. But the Republicans have money. They can afford uh, to hire uh, <laughs> classy lawyers. So can you imagine if it was the other way around? Imagine if it, these were uh, Democrat supporters who were sitting uh, rotting in prison. I mean, AOC and the rest of them, they would be picketing the courts every single day. They'd be outside the courts picketing it 24 hours, release so-and-so, release them. You know, they would, we would not hear the end of it. If and they, and if Mark Zuckerberg would stuff. pick up the tab. Right, yeah. yeah. Like he did in Georgia, okay? Yeah. That's it, that's it. And so Republicans have been very weak. I mean, and, and I have to say the same about Trump. It's taken him six months to, to, to raise the question finally last uh, Saturday, who killed Ashley Babbitt? Well, yeah, well, why couldn't you ask this a long time ago? <laughs> so, uh, you know, just- well, well, wait, I'm sorry, I, you know, I, I, I get, you know, even I am afflicted by Trump derangement syndrome, okay? Why didn't, did he meet the family? Did yeah. he, no? He said he talked to the mother on the phone, but again, yeah. why did he meet in person? You know, okay. And again, why didn't he do it already a long time ago? You know, right, right after it happened to meet the family. He could have flo flown them out to Florida. You know, he, he, he has money. He can fly them out to Florida. Yep. There, they, 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 this, there is, uh, for me, for the life of me, I can't understand why any Republican would feel intimidated by any of this. I say, bring it on, okay? Right. You know, have a little bit more transparency. Bring it on. That's right. That, that, that's it. They haven't done it. And that, and that shows weakness. I mean, there have been a number of reporters, you know, like um, uh, we, we talked about Revolver News and goes June Kelly, um, who have written about this extensively. But, you know, why haven't you know, the Republican Party seized on this? Because that's exactly, we know this, that's exactly what the Democrats would have done. I mean, they would have picked it up and run with it if it had been their supporters who were rotting in prison. I mean, after losing in 2016, I mean, uh, and, you know, Republicans control all three branches, both houses of Congress and the presidency, and yet, boom, the Democrats you know, set the agenda with Russiagate. That's it. They were in the minority and they were setting the agenda on Russiagate. That's but, how you do it. You know what they're going to do, George? Somebody, somebody in Congress, AOC, because she was so threatened in another building, um, she's going to come out and say, we need a national uh, holiday of mourning, January oh, yeah. 6th. It'll be something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so yeah. They, I mean, they're great at the symbolism. She yeah. is a great public relations con artist. Yes. It's going to happen, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Or are they going to wear some kind of June, uh, January 6th scarf or something or a button or, you yeah, know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you imagine, yeah, we can imagine what's going to happen on January 6th when we, when we go through the 12 month commemor commemoration. I mean, it'll be a national, it'll be a public holiday. I'll be in, you know, it'll be a day of mourning. And she's still in therapy, I think, uh, as a result yeah. of January the 6th, so, you know. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it, it'll be, they'll put a big black like burqa over the entire capital for mourning, okay? <laughs> it, it, it's a, this, is all a, this is all smoke and mirrors, everybody. It's all politicking and the civil rights of about 500 people have been grossly violated. If this was happening in Russia, what would be the reaction? If this yeah. was happening in China, what would be the reaction? That's right, that's, that's right, exactly. People uh, sitting there in prison month after month in, in horrific conditions, you know, this is no uh, golf club uh, prison. I mean, this is this is pretty brutal uh, prison in D.C. Uh, they don't have proper legal representation, They're held in solitary confinement, and subjected to a physical abuse. Uh, shocking. This has happened in Russia. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean you, you can just imagine. Joseph Burrell would be he would be yeah. <laughs> on. He would have his own live YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> All righty. Okay, uh, yeah. everybody. You can find us on Locals, and our address is thegaggle.locals.com. Um, George and I are doing one-on-one -on -one Zoom uh, calls with gagglers. I think we have two uh, tomorrow. I think um, so, yes. 
Yeah, looking still, forward yeah. to that. They're always fun, and we like doing them. And um, we're getting and we're getting pretty good at it, I think. Yeah. Also, we have a tip jar, which I finally refer to it as as Buddy's tip uh, tip jar, um, <clears throat> meaning any kind of help you can give us would be greatly appreciated. Yeah. We like when you post on um, uh, on our page. Um, we like interaction with people, um, even if you don't agree with us. We like to hear it. Absolutely, absolutely. And we've also got the um, Gaggle store, which I think will be open for business um very shortly so there'll be all sorts of fun things on sale mugs uh, t-shirts <laughs> sweatshirts uh everything so and some, uh, you know, and some so very um uh, surprise buddy memorabilia memorabilia exactly look at that adorable face uh you know you can't i mean how can you got even i might you know put in a coin into that tip jar uh, uh, we're also on rumble look us up on rumble and remember, if you like the gaggle, please like, share, and subscribe. See you soon. Bye.